want, I don't want it. Do what I like, I don't like it. My life is a mess. Screaming with boredom, I don't feel nice. Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany, I'm so glad you're here. This is part two of my deep spring clean of the kitchen. Hopefully this will be the only other video, depending on how much I get done today, this might end up rolling into a third video, we'll see. So I just wanted to say thank you so much for joining me today. If you missed the first um, video, I'll have that linked down below. For you as well as linked at the end of this video I definitely highly recommend that you check that one out I deep cleaned all of my cabinets and drawers and uh, it was such a phenomenal feeling it was quite a process but it was very satisfying in the end today I'm going to be doing the rest of the deep cleaning in the kitchen I couldn't do it all that day well those two days that I cleaned out my cabinets because it was just too much um, but I have created a printable list for myself and I did make it so that you can enjoy it too if you'd like I have it linked down below and let me show you what I'm going to be working on today Okay, so here's the checklist that I have created, and it just has uh, my OnCloud Klein logo, and then it just has all of the things that I want to accomplish in today's clean with me. Um, I have already done the vacuum and wipe the cabinets and the drawers, so I can cross those off, but this has everything else that I want to get clean, and it is very detailed, so um, I liked the colors, I liked the fonts, and it just made me feel like I wanted to actually cross things off. I'm a big list maker, so hopefully this is helpful. Like I said, I'll have that linked down below for you, so if you want to print it as well, let me know if you do. You can follow me on Instagram at OnCloudKlein. You can tag me in a picture of you using the list. I would love to see it. And without any further ado, let's just get into the deep cleaning. To get this deep clean going, I started in my oven. I had not cleaned this in probably six months or more. And I started by just cleaning out any of the debris that I could. I vacuumed it out. And then my oven has a steam clean option where you put a cup of water at the bottom and then steam clean it. So I went ahead and started with that. While the oven was being steam cleaned, I started on the stove top. Again, I started by removing all of the debris. Our stove top was so filthy because we've been cooking three meals a day in our house since we've been home. So I cleaned off all the debris and then I made sure to vacuum to make sure it was completely debris free. Next thing I did was spray it down with the Method Heavy Duty Degreaser. And this product works really well. The first time I did it, I sprayed it and then wiped it off right away. But I realized it wasn't getting it as clean as I needed it to be. So I went back and sprayed it again. And then I let it sit for a while, hoping that would loosen everything up. And then while that was working, I worked on the top part here. I used my Wyman stainless steel cleaner. I use this all the time. If you've seen any of my other videos, I swear by it. And I'm using a microfiber cloth that I purchased at the Dollar Tree. I have several of them. And I was just working on getting all of the crumbs and food debris off of that. And then I worked on the front of the oven, which I used a little bit of glass cleaner here on the front and then more of the Wyman stainless steel cleaner.
Once I was done cleaning off the rest of the stove, I came back to the top and I used a wet cloth to wipe it all down. And I have to say, letting that degreaser sit really made a huge difference on my stove top. I was able to get it crystal clear and clean and I was excited to cook and dirty it up again. <laughs> In part one of this kitchen spring clean, you saw me wipe down my hood a little bit, but I needed to go back in and clean it again. This is something you have to do weekly, of course. Your hood gets so dirty from grease and dust and everything sticks to it because you're cooking right underneath it. So I needed to get it really clean and then I went back in and cleaned underneath. I'm using a wet rag there and a little bit of the degreaser to get everything off the fan. Next up was my fridge, which really isn't that terrible because I've been trying to stay up on it since we've been home so much and trying to keep more food so we don't have to go out as often. I've been trying to keep it pretty clean. I started with the bottom drawer, just removing everything. This is the drawer that gets touched the most because of little hands. It's what they can reach. So I took everything out, again used the vacuum to remove any debris and then wiped everything down with the Method All-Purpose Cleaner. I'm using the grapefruit scent. It is the only thing I can find in the moment. However, it really is a great scent for your kitchen. It's really fresh and invigorating, so if you haven't used it before, I do recommend it. But I just wanted to get this drawer really clean because, again, like I said, little hands are constantly touching this drawer. One thing you didn't see me doing because I forgot to turn the camera back on is replacing all of the paper towels that are at the bottom of each section in the doors. I keep a paper towel underneath all of the condiments and everything so that way if something spills it's easy to clean up. So I just took everything out, I wiped them down and then put in a fresh paper towel for each one. It really was quick and easy but for some reason I forgot to turn the camera back on so I didn't forget the doors. I don't want you to think I did but by the time I was done the fridge was nice and fresh and ready for us to continue to devour all this food in here. If only you knew I would die for you One of us, one of us Gotta say the obvious Nobody loves me better Nobody loves me better Nobody loves me better Guess I'm just too scared to settle down There'd be many nights I got too and almost left town But there's something about you Something about you I like About you I like I get too drunk and too scared and lie to you If only you knew I would die for you One of us, one of us Gotta say the obvious Nobody loves me better Nobody loves me better 
When I was done cleaning out the fridge, the oven had finished steamed cleaning, so I went back and wiped it down. I just kind of blotted up any excess water and then wiped it down, and it worked pretty well. There was only one spot that really didn't get all the way clean. When we cook pizzas in here, sometimes things fall and get crusty down on the bottom, but I just sprayed it with a little bit of off oven spray, and that helped. And then I used the degreaser on the inside of the oven door and that seemed to work pretty well. Going back to the fridge, I cleaned the very top of our fridge, which I hadn't done in a while. One of my kitty cats likes to sit up here a lot, so there was a little bit of fur that needed to be vacuumed up, but honestly, it really was not that bad. Just a little bit of dust, but I honestly couldn't tell you the last time I had done this, so it needed it. And I'm sure I'll get a question about my mixer. I actually painted that, it was originally red. I spray painted it gray and then I used a vinyl sticker decal across the top to add the polka dots. I really love how it came out and had to display it. Next up was my dishwasher. We have really hard water here in Las Vegas, so I needed to get this done. I try to do this regularly, and I do use a special cleaner for inside uh, once a week to help with the hard water stains, but usually you can clean your dishwasher with one bowl of about a cup of vinegar. However, I use two because the hard water stains are so bad. So I put one on the top and one on the bottom, and then you let it run on the hottest setting for the longest time, and that typically helps. I then decided to start cleaning the outside of the dishwasher while that was working. This little section right here on the top of my dishwasher gets really dirty, and it's a really thin little space, so I used the back of a butter knife, the blunt side, to clean out anything that was inside of there. It actually worked really well. And then I went about cleaning the rest of it with the Wyman stainless steel cleaner. As with the fridge, the pantry really didn't need a whole lot of work. I've been trying to stay up on it since we've been keeping a lot of food in the house. I started by taking out all of the recyclables that had gotten really bad and were overflowing. And then I kind of moved things around down on the bottom just to vacuum and clean up any debris or food that had fallen onto the ground. Not used to this. I don't know how to act, don't know how to adapt to this situation. Not used to this, no I'm not I better let myself Give in to love, believe in us No matter what it does to my heart 
And then it was time to clean the door and the door frame. There are little fingerprints all over this door frame. I should have taken a close up so you could see all the little tiny handprints that were on here. Every time my little boogers come in here to get a snack, they hold on to the door frame while they look around. So it was really dirty. I was actually amazed that I hadn't done this sooner. So that's what you see me here. I actually wet the microfiber cloth. Those are so perfect for cleaning your doors and your door frames. They work so well. So that's what you see me doing here. To clean the microwave, I sprayed the method degreaser and let that sit for a while. And while that was working, I grabbed my long handled dusting utensil. I'm not really sure what you call this, but I dusted off all of the decor up on top of my cabinets. And I also wiped down the walls a bit just to get any cobwebs or anything that was up there. Danny's been up there working on the crown molding, so it really wasn't bad. He's been wiping it down a lot, but I love that tool. I bought it at Home Depot and it's really great for hard to reach places like your fans, your vents, and of course any high up decor. It works really well for dusting off your picture frames too. And if you're still here with me, I want you to tell me your favorite food only in emojis down in the comments below. I want to know who's still here with us. Next up, it was time to clean any decor and small appliances on my counters. I don't really have a ton of appliances. I just have my coffee pot really and the microwave, but then I do have a couple of things of decor. The mason jar measuring cups that I just cleaned are from World Market and this stir crazy Ray Dunn utensil holder is from TJ Maxx. 
And then it was time for my knives. I have not cleaned the outside of my knife holder in forever. These knives are so old. We got them when we got married. We have replaced a lot of the knives inside, but the holder itself is old. As you can see, it's got a little burn mark on the side, but I just cleaned it with a little the degreaser and it worked really well. I do show you the rag to show you how dirty it was. It was actually kind of embarrassing. It was really gross, but I'm glad I got it done. I hadn't deep cleaned my drying rack in a really long time and since our water is so hard it does leave pink stains on things if you don't clean it regularly so because we don't put our pots and pans in the dishwasher I put them up here every single day so it really needed to be cleaned I was amazed at how dirty it was but it looks brand new now that it's done you got a free pass, oh. Try to hide it but you had me from the To finish up this deep clean, I went ahead and put some fresh towels out. Those are from Ross and the cute little grater that is on the side of my cabinets is from Ikea and the lamb's ear inside is from Walmart. And then I just finished up with a quick vacuum and a mop and the kitchen was good to go. Chasing fame and being pretty all the time Doesn't sound like fun You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better So much better If I want 
Okay, and I am finished. It is now five o'clock. Uh, that took forever. I did have to take a little break in between because my camera battery died, but I got almost everything on the list finished. The only thing I didn't do was clean the floorboards and clean and disinfect my garbage can, but I have um, plans to do a downstairs spring cleaning, so that will have to be in that video. These are just things that can't all be done in one day, um, especially if you're gonna do them right. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you aren't already. I'd love to have you come back for more. And until the next one, you guys, I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you soon. Stay healthy. Bye.